Doubts Grow Over 2021 Tokyo Olympics by Learn With News, Level 3. The Tokyo Olympics were initially planned for summer 2020. After the breakout of the coronavirus pandemic, the games were cast into doubt and eventually delayed for a year until summer 2021. At the time, it was believed that the COVID-19 pandemic would most likely be resolved by then. As the pandemic has continued to rage on, various events, movies, and plans have been continually delayed. Now, five months from the planned start of the 2021 Olympics, talks have once again turned to whether or not the Games can go ahead. The chief executive of the 2012 London Olympics Games, Sir Keith Mills, said in January that Tokyo officials should be preparing for the cancellation of the 2021 Olympics. Sir Mills said that if he were in charge of the Tokyo Olympics, he would be making plans for its cancellation. Although he also said that Tokyo officials are only likely to cancel the Olympics at the last minute, in case the situation improves dramatically, in case the vaccinations roll out faster than we all hoped. With five months to go and vaccinations not being distributed as fast as previously hoped, the case for the Olympics going ahead is getting weaker. In a recent poll, 80% of Japanese people said they thought the Olympics should be cancelled. Amidst the turmoil over whether or not to cancel the Olympics, the head of the Olympic Organizing Committee, Yoshiro Mori, got himself into hot water. Mr. Mori, a former Prime Minister of Japan, said that women talk too much in meetings and that meetings with women would take a lot of time. He made the remarks during a meeting of the Japanese Olympic Committee. He apologized for the comments, although critics said it was a non-apology, and said that he would not be stepping down from his position as the head of the organizing committee. After a week of increasing pressure, he finally resigned and recommended the 84-year-old Saburo Kawabuchi replace him. This caused further controversy as 83-year-old Mori was perceived as having outdated views, leading to his forced resignation. The Olympic minister, Saiko Hashimoto, a woman, was eventually chosen to replace Mr. Mori, and Ms. Hashimoto was also replaced as Olympic minister by a woman. The turmoil created by Mori's comments brought unwanted controversy to the already plagued games. The delay of the Olympics has added an estimated 22% to the cost of the Games, as many contracts and agreements have had to be reworked. Now that the Games seem destined to not go ahead like normal, there have been other discussions about how the Games could still be held during the pandemic. Proposals include vaccinating athletes, not allowing spectators, only allowing vaccinated spectators, and, of course, cancelling the games completely. It's not known what options the Japanese Olympic Committee are considering, but Saiko Hashimoto has inherited a difficult job.